Learning times tables off by heart makes mental maths much easier. It will boost your child's confidence in their maths lessons at school, but it's also a skill they'll use all the time in the world outside school. The key is practice, 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 but there are lots of ways to make practice fun. Turning it into a game works really well for my children. There are some great games online, but it's just as easy to make your own. Help your child to make a set of flashcards for each times table, or you could buy a set with the multiplication calculations on the front and the answers on the back. Shuffle the cards and display the calculations at random. How many can they get right in a minute or two minutes? They could make a school board to track their personal best. If two or more children are playing, the first to get the answer right wins that card. Play to see who can collect the most cards. Seven times nine. 63. Very good, well done. Seven times six. 42. Very good. <laughs> two times eight. 16. When your child is learning a times table for the first time, try writing the multiples on sticky notes and putting them up around your house. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This builds practice into the day in a fun way. For older children, try adapting games they already enjoy. My sons like playing Would You Rather, so when we have a few spare minutes, I turn this into a times table game. So let's play a game. Would you rather have seven times nine sweets or eight times 10 sweets? Eight times 10 sweets. Excellent. And Oscar, would you rather have two times four sweets or? This works when you're sharing out real treats too. We also play a times table version of rock, paper, scissors. Each person holds out between one and 10 fingers. The first to multiply these numbers together wins that round. So you're going to bring out one hand each and then the first and hold up any number of fingers from zero to five and the first person to multiply the numbers together to tie them together wins, okay? One hand, rock, paper, scissors. So two times one is ties them together wins, okay? So ready? Rock, paper, scissors, math. Um, three times five? Fifteen. That's it. You can also roll dice to make multiplication calculations at random. You can do this with two dice to practice simple sums or four dice to practice up to the 12 times table. Turning times table practice into a game will stop it feeling like a chore. And like me, you might find it helps you brush up on your mental maths at the same time. 